Hello, my name is Frederick Moxley, and I would like to discuss room temperature matter wave interferometry with you. An interferometer is an apparatus such as a gyroscope that is used to take measurements. Many of these measurement sensitivities are limited or too expensive to manufacture owing to the temperature requirements for operation. Both atomic and optical interferometers have their benefits and detriments. And by marrying the benefits of both, we have a new design idea. The new, patent-pending, polariton interferometer will determine measurements more effectively without suffering the detriments of atomic and optical interferometers. Typically, atomic interferometers require ultra-cold atoms to achieve matter waves, whereas the polariton interferometer relies on a room temperature polymer configuration. Another advantage of the polariton interferometer is that it can be low-cost, micromanufactured on a technology known as a photonic integrated circuit. As a consequence, we can develop a microchip that maintains the sensitivity of an atomic interferometer and the room temperature operation of an optical interferometer while avoiding larger configurations. In addition, the polariton interferometer can be used as a gyroscope and then integrated with an inertial navigation system or inertial measurement unit. Doing this has important implications in the aerospace and defense industry as it works without a GPS. The polariton interferometer is 10 orders of magnitude more sensitive than the laser gyroscopes that are currently used for many inertial navigation systems. This improvement in measurement sensitivity provides a way to reduce integration drift and ultimately save lives. Inertial navigation systems and inertial measurement units both have very promising market trends for the aerospace and defense industry. Advancements in gyroscope technology, such as the polariton interferometer, are driving the global inertial sensor market. By sending a special state of light through a thin film, we can image the interference pattern to determine the rotational rate of the device. Here, we can see the interference pattern that is produced by the polariton interferometer. Photonic integrated circuits are typically made with electro-optic crystals, polymers, and semiconductor materials, where photolithography is used for patterns and etching. The optics of the device can be micromanufactured onto a photonic integrated circuit where the light source comes from a laser diode. Micrometer sized optical elements can be made with a direct laser writing technique before they are integrated onto the circuit. Dielectric layers of the thin film cavity will be produced by sputtering and the polymer layer where the matter waves are achieved will be spin coated. By implementing the generic foundry process, we can drastically reduce the production costs of the polariton interferometer, making it both a low-cost and profitable device. Please visit my website for more information.